I'm talking about that the K-12 education system seems to be putting far too much emphasis on academics being the determiner of success for children, and which is simply not true. The research has been done, decades and decades have gone into research, and we've figured out by analyzing the results that basically that's not what it was, and, uh, and I'm not saying that uh, these things aren't important. Of course, I'm, I'm a person who did not have a hard time in school. I found school quite easy. I was a good student. But far too much emphasis has been put on IQ being the determiner of success, academics being able to get us ready for the ups and downs of life. And we all know that that's simply not the case. In fact, IQ, the stress on IQ in schools, things like reading and writing and arithmetic, which are very important to me, these things have not really, uh, have not really pushed the children in the direction that we've needed them, because it was a lot more than that. And history and psychology have been proving this a long time, and schools know this, that it's those soft skills, it's those life skills, the EQ, the emotional skills, things like how to shake hands, how to meet and greet people, understanding the value of time, being a good public speaker, being, uh, being, uh, making friends anywhere you go. These are the things that I've always been pushing for in schools, and a lot of people know this, and a lot of people have been doing this, and, and you value these things. And yet, the system has broken down again and again because the K-12 system keep emphasizing, keeps emphasizing the academics and the academics, and yet we keep talking about personality and life skills, but it's not enough. We don't see it. I mean, and as I was saying before, don't, I, don't mean, I don't mean to discount the value of IQ. IQ is important. IQ, but it's a threshold importance. You add up all three of those, and EQ, has more of an impact. In fact, IQ, did you know it's only 20% of a determiner of success? Now, 75% of children's personalities are pretty much made by the time they get to their 12th or 13th birthday. 75%. Now, uh, and I'll tell you some science behind this because I, I know a fair bit of biology. Now, suppose we have a child who's otherwise a very shy child. But those bachche friends itne hain ke they're always taking him out. They're always including him in things. They're always very loving and kind to him. They're always playing with him. Wo bachcha karte karte wo cheeze dekhte dekhte mirror karte karte. By the time he's 12 or 13, wo cheeze pakki ho jayengi. But imagine if there's a child who's who's otherwise an extrovert child, but he doesn't really have those opportunities. He was always waiting for his parents and friends to come over and just watching TV and not doing anything else really. By the time he hit his 12th or 13th birthday, what is a change? He was no longer an introvert. I guess he became a loner. There's a time for everything. If you do things at the right time, things are different. There's a saying, when you do the things that you should do, life is easy. But when you do the things, when you want to do them, life becomes infinitely more difficult. When we were young, where the awareness about the 75%? Our parents didn't know these things. And whatever we've learned, we learned before that age. And in a sense, I have spent my whole life trying to master that last 25%. Because it was 75%, I didn't learn anything about it. And this is how we've all grown up. But this is what I urge you to change in your schools. This is what I urge you to change as educators. You have the power to do these things now, and this is what I wanted to talk about. Now, I'll also talk about the business case behind this, too, because this is what we're here to do. But before that, I'm going to talk about a couple of myths, and I'm going to talk about a couple of criticisms that you might be feeling, and I want to get those out of the way first, and then uh, we'll go over that. Now, the first myth, Aren't we already doing this, Mr. Shapuri? Our schools may already, don't we have CCE and uh, uh, CBSE ki mandate nahi hai in cheezo ke baare? Well, yes and no. But the efficacy of them is just left in the air. What good is it when these, uh, the workbooks, the CCE life skills workbooks have been handed out and the teachers have their best interest in it, but kaha tha time in cheezo ko thik se teach karne ka? And yes, there was some efforts made into going over those things, but the children were told to study them thoroughly. And they did. And afterwards, there was evaluations, and the teachers at the end of the term were trying to evaluate the children based on just anybody's guess. And they had their parameters, but I've seen this happening. I've seen this happening in lots of schools. A person like me, you can imagine, I've been around the block. I've been to hundreds of schools in India. I've trained over 3,000 teachers myself, and I've spoken to lakhs of parents in parenting psychology. 
I've seen schools, I've seen where these things are done, and I've seen where these things aren't done. And, I, and I'm not talking about your school, aapke school mein, I know these things are going on really well, but I'm talking schools ki baat kar raho, where these things aren't taken care of in the manner they should have been. Now, if, if in the maybe, maybe a dozen or so schools, I've seen these things implemented in a fantastic way, in the grand scheme of these things, in the grand scheme of things, these schools are so few and so far-fetched that it makes no impact on anything. And this is what it has to change. Now, the second myth is, uh, but can't our teachers do it? Well, I guess they could. And, and why shouldn't they? But, you know, in our schools where the culture is, that teachers are with the kids in the morning, or maybe a few minutes earlier, and they usually leave in the buses or leave a few minutes after the children. Where is the time to inculcate these things? Where is the time to develop the teachers to have these things in an effective way, where they can be those role models and there can be those mesmerizing people that can really, really impact these children? There's not time for these things. And if you have teachers who are so free to do these things, well, send them to a place that will teach them these things because it's so hard to self-learn these things. Now, many people feel, well, you know, I think our counselor can handle this. And that is also a good argument, and it is true. But if your counselor has nothing to do, if your counselor has nothing to do all day in school, we should really question what the counselor should have been doing. But let's say the counselor had a lot of personality, was self-taught these things, and the counselor was able to uh, effectively take on children. But pura school cover karne ke liye, you would need an entourage of counselors. So why not just let those people who best do these things, do them? And I'm sure there's plenty in your city. And I have no vested interest. But my interest is the same as yours, to make sure that the children of today become the most successful adults tomorrow. Now, the third myth, we'll just go over this quickly. Aksar log sochte hain, even schools say, you know, hamare bachche ke toh personality hai. Hamare bachche, they're already street smart. But being street smart is a minuscule part of what we're talking about. Having decision-taking skills being able to look somebody in the eye and shake hands with them and say, sir, I'm so-and-so. It's a pleasure to meet you. By the way, I'm so-and-so's son. These things are beyond street smarts. These are those skills that when they're taught at a young age, then the children will always be able to reap the seeds of these greatnesses. If you're a person that uh, does any sort of uh, coaching, any sort of training, and you have a tremendous personality yourself, I think the dots are there. You just have to connect them. And you're going to be on your way to doing these things on your own. And it is, it is a viable thing. You will be able to make a living from these things. I know it because we've been doing it a very long time. And I've never wanted to tell people about this myself. But this is a different case. Mm -hmm.